Welcome to the Terror Dome in New Orleans, Louisiana, where it is never safe to go out in public on Fat Tuesday. Why is that, Grim? Uh, that's because Tuesday's when they have to lure the zombies back into the stadium, so they let a few fat people out to lead them back inside. You know, a little bait. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts from the MFL. The team storm the field. The Carcass City Creeps take on the New Orleans Zombies. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. The paddy wagons in the parking lots are full. The familiar scent of bodily fluids in the air. And the men's room is both flooding and on fire. And that means NFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzer along with Bricks and Bricks Jr. Man, last week some mutant let out a lava blast in one of the stalls in the men's room. Place went up like an oil rig. Flames and explosions. Water shooting out of where the toilets were. <laughs> I electrocuted myself using the electric hand dryer. I wish they had paper towels at least as an option. I hope they covered your ears. He like breaks his bowels. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. He's at the 10. He scores. He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Nah, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't going to think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stop burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Team hates it. And it's first and ten. Huh? And the quarterback finds his man for the first down. And it's first and ten. Huh? Shoveled his feet so well on that play. Oh, holy smokes! He just killed that player with a cheap shot. That's why we love the MFL. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Defense better watch out. The quarterback just threw a murder ball. Oh, I love the mighty ball daddy trick. Touchdown! And he rips off a game-breaking run for the score. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It's good. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. Exception. Oh, yeah. oh, he just got popped big time. Oh, my God. I thought his head was going to pop off like a big zit. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Hey. Can 
yard pickup there. Normally a first down, but here he's just making up ground. Yeah, like the way the commission makes up news. Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Ooh, that hit's going to shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. And another interception. This quarterback is going to listen to Joy De Oh, that was a hit. You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Brex? I'll take the salad, Steve. Wait, where am I? I feel like I've been here before. Is this deja vu? This is like our Brazilian season, dumbass. Actually, I think he's talking about the time more dirty trick that the defense just played. Still a dumbass, though. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, did he take a punishing hit? You ever had your lights knocked out like that, Bricks? Yeah, the white juice at the Blue Hooters chicken wings last night? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and then, then the police horse is out front in the stadium earlier. That was just a joke slap, but the horse took it seriously. Not surprised. Second down, and we've got a pick. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. Second down, and ain't going to happen, partner. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. Third down, and the QB is saying his prayers. Hot one. And that's another pick. Man, oh, man, the defense is going to have more receptions than the offense. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, bingo, bingo. I got bingo, Grim. He's at the 30, and the defense is on his heels. The 10. Touchdown. If you think his dance in his bed, you should have been here in the old days. He used to mark their territory the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf on Scrim. He damn near clawed my face off. Yeah, that was before the class even started. You know, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. <laughs> Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. This is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Oh. 
And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, man, he just crushed him. <laughs> I got to see that again. I had a kid once like that walking down the sidewalk texting with his earbuds in. Freaked him out. He said, hey, what'd you do that for? I said, I did you a lesson. What lesson? He said, that unless you're a baboon with big baboon balls, you got to pay attention. Yeah, hey, wow, the jungle, you know? The boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have fun. Several The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Grim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. Uh, I don't think the expensive, that is. And it's first and ten. Sure, my baby sister can throw further than that, but she doesn't have to play against goddamn monsters. And that'll be second and eight to go. And that is called for a first down. The offense is losing quarterbacks faster than teams lose their minds at spring break. They're down to their last QB before they have to forfeit. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's warming down his guy to the speed feed grip. He's running from his team and just And they line up for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Oh, with a punishing hit. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. The defense called a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, Grim, but it keeps coming back to him. You are dirt in some Bernard's cave. Second down and long. Hot. Hot. Ouch! What is this, Andy's wrestling? And so at the end of one, we're all tied up. We'll be right back. Third down and three. Hot, hot one. Hot. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All we need is 77 to bite it. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot, 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 hot. And the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8. Greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well, he scores! Well, the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. 
When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot. like a human oh holy montezuma's revenge that's a crap your pants and die tackle oh, that montezuma was very vengeful wasn't he bricks wonder what made him so mad yeah it was probably all the diarrhea yeah, you're probably right yeah they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to mexico forever to crack their pants Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they are not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second down and ten. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. Third down and six. Oh, that's a vicious hit, and the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutiny. And you can't hit a guy much harder than that. And that is unfortunate. Surprise me, he made it look easy and he gets three points for it. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. First down and forever. bloody footprints off the defense. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really... It was total carnage today, folks. A gruesome and bloody mess with a high death toll. And the hometown fans love it. <laughs> Way to go, guys. The New Berlin Zombies win by forfeit. I'm traumatized, Grim. I don't think I'll ever be able to hit SpaghettiOs again. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. <laughs> Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...